Yes! Why are you yelling? Sorry! Used to bigger crowds! Just give me a minute and my voice will get back to normal! I could already tell this guy was nuttier than a bag full of peanut brittle without the brittle. He's all- All I'm doing is preparing the way. Why would you care what people weigh? N not way. Way. Oh, ways in wheat. No, ways in this way. That way? No, this way. That way? This way. That way? No, this way. Yes, yes, I know who the Lord is, the Messiah, the King of Kings. I've picked up on that in kid stuff. Oh, good! He's here! And it's my job to let the world know about him. Really? Yeah, he's my cousin. You're serious? That's the hair on my back. Jack, can I call you Jack? I prefer John. Johnny, I have to say it's a little odd that God would pick a guy like you to tell all of his people about Jesus. Ugh, is that a bug you just ate? Yeah, they're filled with protein. Well, God has uniquely created me for this purpose. Who are you to say that God has to use only the richest people, or the cleanest people, or even the people whose diets you agree with? Watch it, pal. I never agree with diets. I owe you an apology. It looks as if God has chosen you to do a mighty work. And if you would be so kind, I'd like to hear more about this way you are preparing for the Lord. I now know that God will use whoever He wants to say whatever He wants. I'm Sam. Sam Shovel. Private Detective. A sudden string of crime has hit our little metropolis. Someone seems to have been chewing holes in my clothing. Yes, I said chewing. Who knows why he's doing it? Maybe he needs more fiber in his diet. Maybe he's holding a grudge against Rayon. I thought everybody loved Rayon. Whatever the case, I was going to get to the bottom of it. Before he gets to the bottom of those trousers, I called my first and only suspect. He had a monkey on his back, and he needed my help. Shoe monkey? wanted to see me? Have a seat, Mr. Mothman. It's Mothman. Mothman? Mine, as in Mothman. I'm a moth. This guy, he cut right to the chase. He knows why he's here. I know why he's here. We're all here knowingly. Do you hear? I think now's the time to shed some light on this subject. <laughs> The light, 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 the only thing that will really last is your treasures in heaven. Those things you can't uh, see or touch, but make God smile really big. I guess I'm just around to remind you of that. I'm like an archaeologist digging for clues. That's why they call me Sam Shovel. Because I really like to dig. And also because my parents are Mr. and Mrs. Shovel. I was in Egypt buying food to get me through the famine when I heard a rumor on the street that there was a new ruler in town. It seemed that no one had ever heard of this guy before he came to power. He just came out of nowhere. Someone had to check this out and that someone was me. Pleasure to meet you, Zephaniah Thnea, if that is your real name. No, my real name is Joseph. You changed your name from Joseph to Zephaniah Thnea? Well, no, I didn't change it. Pharaoh did. Who? Pharaoh. 
Oh, the King of Egypt guy, the let my people go, etc., etc. You know what I'm saying? No. He dreamed of seven fat cows, and they were eaten by seven skinny cows. But the cows actually represented seven years of abundance and seven years of famine. Holy cow, that's remarkable! I had a dream once where I was flying through a space on a horse named Myron, and we landed on a planet where everyone looked like that little Martian from the, you know, Bugs Bunny cartoons. What do you think that means? I don't know. How can you trust someone who let you get sold into slavery and thrown into prison for something you didn't do? I don't know why God allowed those things to happen, but he had his reasons. He's bigger and smarter than me. And he's always with me, whether I'm a slave, a prisoner, or a ruler. So I trust him to help me make the right choices. It sure must be nice to have the creator of all things on your side. I wish I had someone to help me make good choices. I can't seem to say no to those telemarketers. I've donated most of my savings to charities I've never even heard of, like People for the Ethical Treatment of Vegetables and the United Spam Foundation, and I've got a subscription to the Beans of the Month Club, and I don't even like beans. Yuck! Sir, some gentlemen are here to purchase grain. Uh, ten Sons of Jacob from the land of Canaan. Ten Sons of Jacob? Yes, sir. Thank you. Mm-hmm. Yeah, whatever. I can't believe it. My brothers are here from Canaan. They're here to buy grain. When suddenly, there was a knock at the door. <laughs> It seemed a group of large Midianites had come to talk to Sam. They had been defeated by the Israelites in a fight over some land. They wanted Sam to find the great warrior who led the Israelites to victory. They said his name was Gideon. He wanted to refuse, but they were much bigger than him, so he took the case. The search led him to the land of Oprah. Yes, what is it? Well, I'm looking for a man named Gideon. Oh, I'm Gideon. No, I should have been more clear. I'm actually looking for the Gideon who led the Israelites in attack against the Midianites. Yes, that that's me. No, 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 no. I'm looking for Gideon. He's a big muscular guy. I mean, he's probably giant. He carries a big sword that he may or may not call Excalibur. And he probably walks around saying things like, I'll be back. That Gideon. Every time we would plant crops, they would come in and ruin them. I had to thrust the wheat in the wine press. We all prayed that God would deliver us from their hands. Uh, but I never dreamed that God would choose me to lead this attack. That's ridiculous. Nobody threshes wheat in a wine press. You can't. Okay, Gideon, if you are who you say you are, would you please tell me how you were able to defeat the Midianites? I mean, were they like little people or something? No. Right. Big hairy guys. There were only a few of them though, huh? Actually, they had more people in their army than we could count. But your army was much bigger, right? I led the attack with 300 men. 300 men? What did you use as weapons? Laser guns and bazookas? We managed to strike the biggest blow with nothing but torches and trumpets. Well, not my weapon of choice, but I suppose it would hurt a little bit to get whacked in the head with a brass instrument. The truth is, God could have picked anyone. If it hadn't been me, he would have given the tools to someone else to be victorious. But if he had picked a great warrior to fight, everyone would have been saying how great that warrior was. But instead he picked me, a no one. And now everybody knows that through God, we won the battle.